G'day Frothers, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Milwaukee M18 BH and is it any good for Bolton rock climbs? Now this guy is also called the 2612 if you're in the Americas and this is probably one of the first like proper compact rotary hammers ever made. It's a pretty old design, uh, going back to about 2013 I think and it is brushed as well, so just take a listen to that. So this guy does come with a handle. It is two modes, so it's drill only or hammer drill. And that's about it, you know, it's pretty basic. There's no vibration control. You can take the handle off and use it one-handed, no worries. It's pretty small, pretty light. Probably the first rotary hammer on the market to actually be designed to be used one-handed as well. So Milwaukee gets props for that for sure little rubberized part around the motor so you can hold on to it a bit easily. Uh, but you know, that's about it. So let's take a look at how it does drilling some quartzite, which is bloody hard rock in a variety of sizes. And as you'll be able to tell from how long my hair has gotten since I filmed this, I filmed this quite a while ago. So, uh, you know, if you do want to see more rotary hammer stuff, let me know. Uh, otherwise it might take, you know, like a year for me to, to get around to publishing it. So anyway, let's get drilling. And on my other channel, Bolter Down Under, I do more quantitative kind of testing. So uh, I did a runtime test in granite, and the test was five amp hour battery drilling 12 by 70 mil into granite. So that's your, your size for doing your normal sort of size sleeve anchors. M18BH did very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alrighty, so very nicely done. Uh, even though this is a brushed tool and it's a pretty old model, she still did pretty well. 20.1 of those holes in granite. So yeah, I gotta say I was pretty impressed with that actually. Because this is a brushed motor, um, I really didn't expect it to get anywhere near as many as these other brushless tools in there, but it did almost as well. So really nicely done there. Milwaukee's done a good job with the runtime on these tools. And of course, you know, if you need more runtime, you can always just whack a bigger battery on there. Now, I've never actually seen one of these being used on the wall before, and I'm kind of surprised by that because this tool has been around for a long time. But luckily, local legend and Olympian, Tom O'Halloran, he actually rocks these as shown in one of his videos recently, so take a look at that. So there you go, it obviously works pretty well in sandstone, and you know, my testing shows it works pretty well in granite as well. So if you're already on Team Red, you're probably wondering, do I want to get one of these guys for cliff work, or do I want to get the M12? As long as you're not drilling holes at the sort of top of their capacity, you're not really going to notice much of a difference in performance between these two guys. Now the M18 does have a little bit more impact force, so it will do a bit better in hard materials or with bigger holes, but if you're drilling say 10 millimeter wedgies, really it's going to be much of a muchness. So in that same granite runtime test you saw on the graph there, the little M12 got 13 and a half holes, this guy got 20 and a half. So if you bring along two batteries for the M12, you'll be getting more holes with still a little bit less weight than the M18 with one battery. So personally out of these two, I'd be taking the M12 most of the time. So there you go for all this, hope that helped. And I do apologize for taking like more than a year to, to finish this bloody video. Um, just how it goes, you know. So if you want to see more drill stuff that's climbing specific, uh, let me know and I'll do some more on this channel. 
Otherwise, all the other rotary hammer science-y sort of stuff that's over on Bolter Down Under, go check that out as well. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, that reminds me, I'm probably due for a haircut, aren't I? So, catch you later.